Pomondi is with us tonight on Sign Language. So tonight, nothing to celebrate for the Kenyan workers. Contrary to expectations, the laborers did not go home with the goodies as has been in the past in the name of minimum wage bill. Instead, President Ruto, while presiding over the 59th Labor Day celebrations, called for talks between the relevant stakeholders with a view of reviewing the minimum wage bill for by at least 6%. Katie's Noah Kipkemboi kicks off our bulletin tonight with the unvalidated expectations from the laborers. The anticipation for majority of Kenyans on Labor Day was hope for increased minimum wage. or whatever he has put in his pockets. But on their side, employers were not in any way for a review of wages. And I understand where it's coming from because the workers are struggling with a reduction in their take-home pay. But the reality is that there is no legal framework that supports general wage increases in Kenya. This, in fact, would negate freedom of enterprise. A stance that did not sit well with the workers. Come on, I a kunja macho because Jacqueline said, oh, general wage increase, is, that is employer now. It's not anchored on any law. We must have wages council sit and discuss and see how this general wage works. Let me remind my sister here, my twin sister. In 1972, when our economy was not performing, the founding father of this nation, Mr. Jomo Kenyatta, announced general wage increase at that time of 15%. Which law, which law was it angered to? Anything that comes from the mouth of the president, let me tell you, people, Anything at a president Akikusanamia Jambo. That is law. Then came the man of the moment, President William Ruto, with many workers hoping for an announcement of minimum wage increase. Nandio mi nataka sasa ni muambie waziri wetu wa leba. Aite kamati ile inausika. Na waketi chini. Minimum wage. Tuongeze at least minimum by 6%. Na mutaniambia vile esabu hiyo itafanyika. Alapu pale mbele, tutaongea na nyinyi vile mambo itakavyo kuenda mbele. Themed around digital economy, the general consensus was that the Kenyan workforce needs to be upskilled to maximize productivity under the smart economy, further noting that labor export is the new frontier for growth. It is my intention that every year, we should be able to send 250,000 Kenyans to work in different parts of the world so that we can enhance and we can increase the number of people who are working abroad and also enhance our remittances from abroad. The new jobs in the digital and gig economy come with limitations on how work is organized and regulated with workers having limited job security, restricted access to social protection, career progression, and the lack in the right to organize collectively. Now, Kenyans leave Uhuru Gardens with nothing concrete other than a promise of a committee meeting to discuss a minimum wage increase of 6%. But as it stands, it remains status quo now keep him boy ktn news uhuru gardens nairobi in other words you get nothing the last time it was 12 percent 2022 now as the country commemorated the labor struggles and advancements in labor rights today healthcare workers 